a snake and busy like these. Don't know what the is wrong with me. Don't know what the is wrong with me. Pumping up the volume to 90 degrees. Dancing to a song till I drop to my knees. Don't know what the is wrong with me. Don't know what the is wrong with me. But I know you got that something here. I'm just standing doing nothing. From across the room, you got me blushing. I gotta, gotta blush just like a gold rush. Just to get what I need Coming at your heart You will see what I mean Don't know what the Is wrong with me Don't know what the Is wrong with me It's been in my head You got me all dizzy Wouldn't it be better If I just let it be Don't know what the Is wrong with me Don't know what the Is wrong with me But I know you got that something here I'm just standing Doing nothing From across the room You got me blushing I got it, got it Blush just like a gold rush What? sisters and gender norm resistors it's time once again for some more of the outer worlds with me your host olaf welcome 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 uh yes we are back at it with some more uh some more of the outer worlds um in a rare saturday stream i might actually start doing this more often just because i don't really have much else going on on saturday it all depends on how how I'm feeling after the Friday podcast. Uh, most of the time, I'm usually like really just dead on my feet most of Saturday. Um, so that's that's why they haven't really been there hasn't really been anything on Saturdays. But I'm again, I might go into it. I might get back into it. So last time we uh, had just gotten to Fallbrook on Monarch. And, uh, that's kind of, that's, that's kind of an, it's a kind of an interesting area because it is, um, there is that Fallbrook is, has been taken over by Sublight Salvage. Um, they're not exactly operating legally. They're kind of smuggling stuff in and trying to help everybody in the area out. Um, yeah, it's not exactly legal what they're doing because the board has declared Monarch as a no-go area. Nobody is supposed to be there. Uh, but yeah, so they 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 but they have set up a smuggling area to bring in some goods and stuff like that. Uh, this is also where we are going to find uh, Vicar Max's mysterious book that he wants. So. Yeah, that's that's kind of what we're what we're our main focus is going to be is uh, the the book. So let's go ahead and get the game loaded up and jump on into it. So yeah, this is a her this this is this is not a a church approved book, which is kind of curious that Max wants it. Because he doesn't seem to want it in order to destroy it. He wants it in order to read it. So. 
so we're gonna go ahead and go the empty man so we're tracking down Reginald Cheney for Mr. Max who is dressed as the Rizzo Rangers mascot he actually does have the head but I don't I don't know if we can actually get it to show up Yeah, he's he is wearing it. He is technically wearing it, but again, I don't think we can get it to show up. Now, our inventory, we are wearing a very dapper top hat along with some kick-ass armor, which looks just weird. But that's okay. So we need to find the scholar who is down... He is apparently in this you building. Arthur today? Nah, last time I saw him was uh, stars. I can't remember. Days. You don't think he got crushed during the bridge collapse? But it was his team running that drop. Sure bridge puts collapse? Into perspective. Uh, okay. You guys aren't that worried about a bridge collapse. That's troubling. This is Reginald's stuff, all right. But it looks like he's not home. Let's search the room. Try to figure out where he's gone. Well, his... his mm, doesn't look like anybody's used the crapper for a while. Uh, his fridge is stocked. A few bits. His bed looks... doesn't look like it's been made, but there's... Find the scholar. Okay. Day 152, location, okay, condition, fair, report. I can't believe I'm stuck in this law for second town, but at least I think I may have finally found a spot with promise. Down the tunnel on the river bank outside of town, produced one nugget or one nugget and two teeth. I wonder if I can find a dentist who'd pay something for the teeth. Cheney. Sounds like Cheney's gone gold panning down on the river. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. Well, I mean, they're... Wait, do, do, do scholars and stuff just get food for free? I mean, that doesn't seem right. Well, let's... Let's see if what's, what's down by the... Oh, I, I guess we have to go on around... Sublight thug. That's that's always. Always imagined Falbrick would be cleaner, fancier, stocked with better booze, cheaper. I've emptied fourteen bit carts in the last two hours. That's because you've got a terrible tell. Whenever you're lying, your right eye twitches like mad. It most certainly does not. I wouldn't steer you wrong, friend. See. There it goes again. Well, I mean, at least he's telling you about it. Ah, so here's you're the... You're feeling like the civilized type. The waterfall's a good spot to wash your clothes. Okay. I... Right, so down along the river... If there's a van here, I'm 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 gonna be very happy. Uh, oh, hello there. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking workers' paradise. <laughs> but you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. Doesn't look like much of a scholar, Max. Care to explain? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Maybe he didn't know the book was in French. Oh, he knew. Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. 
I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying <laughs> all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Look. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away the... my life chasing fairy hey, tales. Hey, Max! Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Max, stop. It's not... Look, I'm usually the first person who's like, yeah, let's beat the snot out of somebody. But this just feels a little wrong. It's too... Uh, Max, stop. It's not too late. Maybe the answers you've been looking for is in the book. Okay, okay. Talk, Just Reggie. settle, man. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. There. That's sorted, then. I don't think so. A crazed hermit on Scylla? He's playing us for fools. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. What do you say, Vicar? Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Damn right. Glad to hear you. Gl glad to hear you're actually, like, on board with that. So yeah, we need to go to Cilia for that, but uh, we've got other stuff to do. Here, Zora thinks the okay. This uh, let's see here. Right, follow up with Catherine Malin. That's who we need to talk to. So yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to to talk to to Malin. Uh, So while we're here, we'll go ahead and talk with Malin and see what she's got to say. What what's 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 the deal with her? You guys couldn't like, you know, I don't know, leave a Can little bit talk? of room for people to walk along the river that wasn't just in the water. Right, so she's either skinning sprats, which aren't real sprats, uh or slinging drinks, okay. Hi. Ain't in the mood to chat. But you're like the check-in person, aren't you? Hi. You don't look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine sends you back here? On second thought, it's best if I don't know. Probably. What's your order? Got any glacial age whiskey? No, I don't have any. Ugh. If it's only a drink you're after, the full bar's upstairs. This here's the Annie Up, where you place your bets. And what can I bet on? Toss ball, auto loader races, COD games, you name it. I ain't picky. And neither is Catherine. We'll both break your legs if you lose and shirk on paying. I'll get out of your hair. Niles? Hey there, exterminator. Glad you showed up to take care of those mantis swarms. Hate those fucking things. Huh? Uh huh. You blind fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town <laughs> this expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Catherine, you're as welcoming as ever. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. Oh yeah, this is, this is, uh, well this is by Obsidian, who used to be Black Isle Studios, for the most part. So these are the people that did the original Fallout and did Fallout New Vegas. So they really kind of encapsulate the Fallout feel. Just, you know, instead of instead of being in a vault on Earth, you were sent out to the colony. 
less charming. If by nugget of paramount, if by nugget of paradise you mean piece of manta dung, then sure. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, well I'm half listening. There's, there's a few things. Sanjar said you something about a corporate operating in secret on Monarch. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. All right, I'll check it out. And I'll thank you kindly for it. Uh, your boss? I don't really want to call her an oaf, but... Funny. You don't look like one of Lilia's. Sure sound the part, though. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Yeah, well... That's something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. Right, the Alta Vita stuff that Lilia mentioned. So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Well, yeah. It makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Define safe. Meaning safe for me and my crew. Seeing as it ain't us undertaking the risk. Alright, I can get it done. I do like your gumption. But let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Well, our sawbones Ellie could probably cook something up. I shall leave the details to you. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you can force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Good thing we have an engineer. Parvatic will handle it. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Of course it is. Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode antediluvian on the terminal to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. All right, I might be interested. What is it? Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Mm-hmm. I get the feeling this is going to involve murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. <laughs> Me too. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch. Is that like the Sausage King of Chicago? Of up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory. Owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's going to get it for me. What specifically do you want me to do? Kill him. Run him out. I don't rightly care for the details. So long as Clive knows resistance to me is costly. And futile. Okay. And where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Any tips on how to how I might get in? If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Void if I know. But let's say I wanted to sabotage the factory. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, 
or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. Sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. Yeah, 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 he yeah. You ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. All right, How's so, uh... Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Let's talk about something sure. else. Uh, okay, so you won't really talk to us about anything else. Remind me never to get on Ms. Malin's bad side. Right. She's fine. Well, so long as you ain't on her bad side. Then she's liable to drown you in the waterfall. All right, you need, you, you need a better, you, you need better clothes. You need better clothes. This outfit is just not doing it. Uh, let's take a look at your, so... You can pretty much use anything. There we go. Now you've got something befitting the fucking monstrosity of a weapon that you have. And we'll lower your spread. Now, see, you've got, uh, okay, you've got 2,267. But how do you feel about... Oh, wow, the, the Spectrum gun has a really low DPS. Like, yours is, like, kind of over... Yours is kind of overpowered, really. So, all right, let's go in and see Duncan. My dry goods come 75% guaranteed mold-free. Was that 75% mold-free? Hmm. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. That's a pretty big difference. It's either a 75% chance that it's going to be mold-free, or it's going to be 25% mold, and that's just guaranteed. Look, Catherine said you can give me an ID card for the CNP factory. Not so fast. The biometric IDs are special goods, only on offer to special clients. You cotton? I think the fact that Catherine Malin sent me for it makes me special enough. She needs it for a job? Well, why didn't you say so? I did! Reckon you asked her where to best procure one, and she obligingly pointed you my way. Give me a jiffy to break. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope, not quite right. A bit to the left, mayhaps. That'll do it. God, that For sounds like me and Blender. Line worker, well, that didn't sure work. Is a beauty. Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Will that be all, or do you require something to say? Could I have a word with you, Captain? Sure. I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my... violent enthusiasm. Never mind that. Why did you feel the need to lie about Cheney? You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. It's okay. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. I understand. We all get obsessed sometimes. You're forgiven. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. So what was it like being in prison? Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed the stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny. The world will try to correct for it. All right, enough of that shit. Let's move on.
Go away, White. I ain't looking for trouble. That's not no. how the game works. I say, knock, knock, like I'm on the outside of a door. And you say, I swear to the architect, I will punch your lamps out. <laughs> oh, uh, having a rough day? I lost a shipment out for delivery. Barely made it out. Marauders got Keely. Ooh, Catherine is gonna flay the skin from your fingers. I know. Ow. But, you know, it's that's not necessarily deadly. All right. So let's let's head out and see what we've got here. All right, so we uh, unseen errors. We need to go up and look at that place. Then we've got suck bait, rate of free monarch, little memento, slaughterhouse Clive, star cross troopers, and space crime continuum. All right, well let's go ahead and I mean it's on the way back anyway. Make sure we've got full ammo. So, God, that sounded big and nasty. Ooh, hello. Shh. They were destined to die. Don't mess with us. Damn right. We don't care who you are, we will kill you. Who? Huh? What was that? Bob, what happened to you? Your head just exploded. Hello there. A word, if I may be so bold? Okay. Oh, now, here I thought those mantasaurs had peacefully exited the premises. But you're a simpler explanation. Thanks for the assistance. Name's Weston. Every once in a while, I set up shop along these here roads. You find yourself in need of resupply, you come on by. Right. Care to purchase a thing or two? Well, show me what you have. Why not? We have a heavy machine gun two, dead assault rifle, a dead eye assault rifle three. Hey, uh, how about right? So all right, we need to go down there. But I kind of want to take care of these uh, these things over here first. Here they come. Well, I mean, nice hit. Go. Kind of. They have to go down first, so. Oh, hey, uh, gu really, guys, g got guys. There's got to be an easier way. Yep, there's an easier way down. Find cover, Captain. Looks like they were ambushed. We ought to be quick about this. Weren't there some bad guys coming our way? Some some monsters coming our way? Ooh, hey, ammo. Always pick up the ammo. I 
Again, this is what happens when you just, you know, send thugs out. Strangely dressed marauder. Yeah, he looks like he's like came from a clinic or something. A trail of blood leads away from the auto loader. Trail of blood leading to where exactly? Aha, uh -huh. okay, so he's leading us over this away. Ooh, they have a smuggler's tunnel. Now that's handy. That is pretty. Mm. Alright, so where's the trigger on this guy? Ah, there it is. I do not appreciate all the traps. Max, you all right back there, buddy? Why the hell were you guys standing so close to it? It's not like I've been reluctant to shoot them up to this point. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you so get past my traps anyway? I've got moves. Actually, no, you call those traps? I've seen manor peels that were more dangerous. Well, you don't gotta be mean about it. Oh, yes, I do. What are you doing out here anyway? Let me take a look at your wounds. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last sprat worst an hour ago. Catherine told me some of her couriers had gone missing out here. Nice to know she cares. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you That's ask... That's true. NPCs are dumb. I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. Looks like that turned out well. Yeah. I guess the Marauders noticed because they were waiting for us. Blew the bridge and took off with the goods. What's with all the Cave traps? like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Yeah, I'm not just a gawker there, buddy. So where'd the Marauders go? Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Oh, I'm sure she will. Me? 
I'm headed back to Fallbrook, just as soon as I've caught my breath. By the way, I'm taking all your shit. Well, the good shit, anyway. Great work. Like, dude doesn't even care. Dude does not even give a shit at this point. He's like, whatever. You made it through this way. Yeah, you, you, you take whatever you like. Take whatever you want. I don't care. Take all the money. Take all the money. Take all the ammo. I'll leave you your cigarette lighter. Because, you know, I mean... Everybody should have a lighter. All right, so up and to the right. Those are dangerous looking plants. Like, you would imagine something here would be edible by humans, but I guess not. That's right, I shot him in his sleep. And I'm not even worried, I'm not even bothered by it. All right, some more, ooh. Excuse me? Look, I didn't mean what I said about your outfit. It's very fashionable, I swear. Bystanders, does this make us complicit? Uh, I'm sorry, what the fuck just happened? So apparently he was being All right, so Down they go. I'm going to do a quick save here because I'm kind of curious. Can we even save them? So this is the scientist. What was it? It was. Uh... Recover proof of corporate presence on Monarch. Okay. So yeah, they're tied up. Bystanders, does this make us complicit? Okay, so I don't think we can save those scientists. Like, it's it's pretty much just you know just just on. 
Oh, see, there was, there is another guy there. Nice one. Oh wow, there's a lot of people back there. All right, Ras, you uh, you have a good night on there. Making it look easy. It is easy. All I have to do is touch a button. And hold it. I mean, I, okay, I have to hold the button for a little while, but, you know, it's not that hard. Oh, so we can. All right, now that's interesting. I want to see. I want to see if we can. I want to see if we can save them. I mean... Not even because, oh, hey, it's it's important to save them, but... So if I shoot that... As bystanders, hmm. is this... Nope, nope. <laughs> okay, so shooting the explosives, not so good. Yeah, I don't think there's much of... I don't think there's a way of saving the scientists... A legit way of saving the scientists. Look, I didn't mean what I said about your outfit. It's very fashionable. Yeah, I once you come within a once, once you come in with a certain range, it's like yeah, they just boom, they're they're gonna get popped. I guess that makes sense because it's like nobody knows that we're here. I'm assuming there's some people. Oh, hello. What are you? The next person who sets off the alarm off as a joke is getting the is getting the lost time taken out of their paychecks. It was funny the first. Right? Yeah. It's like, why, why, why are, yeah, that's, I think it's, like I said, I think it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, hey, you know, just so you know who you're dealing with, these are assholes. These are supreme assholes. Which is fair. I mean, you know, most people in the call in the in Helcyon are assholes. All right. So let's see here. What what are we even looking for here? Looking for some stolen goods. Let's see. This terminal is only to be used by UDL personnel with an A237 clearance. If you are reading this without A237 clearance, please report to your supervisor for immediate termination and disciplinary action. Wait, termination action? And disciplinary action? That seems like a bit much. Including, but not limited to, fines in excess of 100,000 bits, detention in the UDL authorized incarceration center for up to 136 months, mandatory corporate policies and value seminars, revocation of company lounge and or bathroom privileges, Wait, they're taking away people's bathroom privileges? So, what's the person gonna do if they gotta take shit? All right, what's the research data? Uh, Project Lorem Ipsum. <laughs> Are you serious? They couldn't even come up with anything? Just like, yeah, yeah, okay, that worked. Shall result in a potent 
mostly non-lethal coward crowd control gas for use against rioting, agitated, or excessively numerous crowds. Rich sulfur pockets make Monarch a prime site for testing and experimentation. Early results show promise, but further research is necessary. UDL disavows all knowledge of and responsibility for lorem ipsum. All data in this report considered pri proprietary knowledge of UDL. I will, I will take that, that data. Thank you. Uh, so for in the, for from Sanders. Miss Valdez, just reporting in to let you know the lab's all set up. We found a good sulfur pocket to drill into, so the data's coming in, but this place smells awful. The only local we've had to make we've had to make contact with is Sublight Boss of Fallbrook. She doesn't ask questions, but I'm pretty sure she's gouging us. And we're all getting sick of expired sisty bits. From R. Valdez Sanders. It's supposed to smell awful. That's the point. And I don't care what sublight is charging as long as it keeps your presence there quiet. If word gets out, we're going to spend the rest of our lives in corporate re-education seminars. I don't want to hear from you again until you have a working formula. Once you've got that, you and the rest of the lab rats can come to Byzantium and live on cacao ribs for all I care. And coming up with a better name for, for the project. Something flashy, catchy, but that but that the rest of management will take seriously. Maybe Waterloo or Danger Burn. I'm sick of my mo of my boss asking me why I forgot to fill out parts of my form of my reports. So yeah, they're kind of making fun of the lorem ipsum is uh, lorem ipsum blah 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 blah. That's whatever pops up whenever you open up like a brand new text field in like Photoshop or something like that. Alternate project titles. Access restricted by user J Powell. I'm J Powell. Thunderdog. Uh, if Valdez wants a better title, let's see how she likes these. JP. She's going to be furious if she ever finds this list. And I'm not covering for you. Make sure these are good and hidden. NS. Thunderdog. Eggs Mayhem. I kind of like Eggs Mayhem. Spunk par Skunk Parade. Fuck you, Valdez. I want my raise. I think the I think the last two are pretty good. They're they're pretty good. Skunk Parade, eh, that's a little meh. Thunderdog is just too. It's too much. Now, Eggs Mayhem has just the right amount. It it has the pun in, it has the pun as far as being like you know, kind of like an eggs dish, an eggs Manhattan or something like that. But yeah, yeah I like that one. Right, so we've got the data. But I'm sure there's more to this place. I mean more to this place besides a bathroom. There is a basement. There's always good shit in the basement. Says the man who's streaming from his basement. Precise spectrum magnification monolens? Interesting. So what were they what were they making this shit out of? And who, again, who is leaving money just laying around on the ground? Like, at least these people put it in the, at least some people put their money in the locker. I just like, oh no, we, ah, fuck it, who gives a shit? We're just gonna leave it, it's just sitting here. Mm. 
Wow, that takes a lot of hacking. But if we can find a key card, we'll be good. But we need to find a key card. Yeah, they were, like, right up there. You can still see the crates that they were sitting on when they go went boom. But they, but, but they apparently, like, put them up there and then, like, took the ladder down? Dick move, guys. Dick move. Like, ultra dick move. Like, blowing them up is a dick move. Blowing them up is a dick move. Oh, wow. Their bodies aren't even there anymore. Okay, so... We're looking for a key card of some sort. Aha! Much like this one, I think. Yes! Weapons terminal key card. All right, so let's head back downstairs and see what's on that terminal. Usually there's some good, sh usually anything that's locked with a weapons terminal key, that's usually some good, good shit. This terminal is used to be used only by UDL personnel with S564 clearance. If you are not, blah, 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 you're going to be fined up to uh, excess of 100000 Incarcerated for 349 months. And a personal letter from Chairman Rockwell... Expressing his extreme disappointment. Letter not actually written by Chairman Rockwell. However, it is a po it is an approximation of his tone and vocabulary with a 99.8% degree of accuracy. So you should feel very you should feel very ashamed. You're talking about firing them, imprisoning them for fucking what? 349 months? That's Tw that's over 29 that that is over 29 years that is an ex that is excessive ooh okay uh, let's take a look at the research data research log 14. Before anyone asks, this does not mean I'm a... Okay. Uh, after successful trials, management has decided to put Project Not A Toy on hold. UDL will instead pursue projects with a wider area of effect for more practical, large-scale crowd control. Note, before anyone asks, this does not mean that I'm unlocking the gun. It's still off-limits. Early results are promising. We've managed to increase the surface tension of the gloop to create a controlled and predictable spread of the substance. Management wants a catchier name, though. Note, I told Powell we're not calling the project Sticky Bits, but he refuses to refer to it as anything else. It does not even make sense. The gloop particles are nearly frictionless. How Chastity have started to show interest in the project, which should be good, but their trials seem to involve covering various hard-to-reach surfaces in gloop 
and launching expensive equipment at them. I'm going to have to talk to them. Someone filled my underwear drawer with gloop. I have theories. Chastity use... Uh, okay, I have to say, who the hell names their child Chastity? Like, literally naming your kid no sex is not exactly... I mean, that's... It's, it's not a good name. And the number of strippers that have the name Chastity, it's like, that, that just seems wrong. It just seems very, very wrong. Chastity used the gloop gun in our office paintball game yesterday. She said it was a mistake. But this is the third time she's made the same mistake. And she managed to cover the door panels and the stuff. Damn thing's been going haywire ever since. Do you know how hard it is to clean to keep clean gloop chastity doesn't because every time i pull out the latex and solvent she remembers she's got actual work to do from now on i'm locking the damn gun up all right well unlock it uh let's see here to confirm that you are an authorized U universal defense logistics security specialist please answer the following questions you are attending a company meeting at HHC headquarters in Byzantium and a vile dissident attacks the building. What's your priority? Uh, override. Oh, wow. I have to... Oh, God. Uh, protect the chairman. Correct response registered. Proceeding with security check. Question two. You are pursuing one of our many UDL personal security mega outlets. You are perusing one of our many UDL personal security mega outlets and enjoying our fine selection of employee compl compliance equipment. When you are approached by a stranger, he makes an offhand comment that should that could be construed as an indirect insult to Chairman Rockwell. What do you do? Berate him relentlessly to defend the chairman's honor. Nothing is as important as protecting the chairman. That's 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 kind of the lessons we're we're being given here. Question three: You and your spouse have a healthy, loving relationship, but one day you discover that they have been reading unsanctioned stories to your children. What do you do? Uh. Arrest your spouse and admit your children to re-education program because the company comes first. Use of prototypes crowd suppression weapon GL-009 has been authorized. Reminder, indoor use of this weapon will result in any cleaning fees being deducted from your paycheck. Have a pleasant day. Thank you. So... We're going to replace our needler with the gloop gun. Looks fun. So now we need to go back to Sanjar, is it? Yeah, so we need to go back to Stellar Bay. Strangely enough, it's telling us to go to the door, not necessarily inside. But then again, maybe Sebastian is like, maybe Sebastian is right next to the door. I don't know. Boy is back safe and sound. Yep. 
tell the captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck? Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? Your son is a grown man. It's time you started treating him like one. What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are gonna have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuk Tuk home safe again. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Sorry, let's talk to Sanjar. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Yeah, I have found a data cartridge with details about UDL secret experiments. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? Not so fast. What are these reformations you're talking about? I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. You... you are? You... that... You could do a lot of good around here, you know. Don't go getting my hopes up. But that's entirely the point. We've got to hope. We have got to partake once more of the full resources and opportunities of Halcyon. What about the folks out in the wilderness? Amber Heights, Fallbrook. Will you share with them, or will you hoard those resources here? My sincerest hope is for MSI to become a model for all of Halcyon. But we must start somewhere. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52. With that data you're holding, of course. Oh, did I say I had a data cartridge? That's just what I call my left nut. That seems unnecessarily complicated. It's actually very funny, sir. Now I'm confused. Do you have evidence against UDL or not? Fine, here. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. Yeah, you might want to hold no off on that. no more broadcast from us. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. What can uh, I do for you? You know what? I don't. I don't want to talk about MSI. Uh, let's see here. We've got Mr. Pickett's biggest game. We need to talk to. Yeah, here we go. You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Uh, Sebastian, no? you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks? Manipillers ain't gonna hunt themselves, you know. I must have hunted a dozen, but I couldn't find a single sack on any of them. Must be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Mana pillars ain't got pheromone sacks. <laughs> I just told him that so he'd stop asking me for advice. <laughs> At least I'm getting a good haul of claws in the process. You're in good hands, traveling with Monarch's top merc. Still, if you want any rap glands or manti claws, I've got you covered. I happen to find Mr. Pickett's journal. He'll probably be wanting it back. You see any sign of him? I found the journal inside a dead manticore. Funny place to leave a journal. But what about Mr. Pickett? Well, we don't know that he was eaten. Who knows, by the looks of things, this guy's a real escape artist. Mysteries of the universe, I guess. So this journal is all he left behind? Seems like I ought to read it. Looks mighty long, though. Maybe you and Celia can read it together on your date. I bet she'll like that. She's real enthusiastic about all sorts of monsters. In any case, I appreciate you tracking down Mr. Pickett for me. 
Here's some bits for your trouble. Huh? Uh, but okay. Yep. That's 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 all we need. So let's see here. Uh, we need to talk to the information broker on Devil's Peak. We need a slaughterhouse, little memento, space crime continuum. We need to open the sealed doors, star cross troopers. So we need to take him to Cilia. So we'll go ahead and finish up Max's Max's quest, and then I think we'll call it a night. So let's see here, Cilia. Now at some point we should be able to get to. Oh God, where was it? There, there was there. There's another one that's like. Landing. Destination reached. Scylla. All right, Nico, we don't need you. We need, but I do want Parvati. I like having Parvati in the team because she's just so awesome. Parvati is so sweet and innocent and crazy and yeah, she's she's awesome. Follow the, we'll follow the road, even though that's generally a bad idea, because that's usually where you... Shh. Down they go. Incoming! Really? Everyone all right? That's usually where you find people, where, where you find uh, uh, bad guys is along the road. Because they're waiting for some idiot to just come wandering on by. And like, oh, hey. Somebody lives all the way out here, surrounded by Aether. We're getting close to the hermit. I can feel it. There's another robot, it sounds like, up here. There's pretty much people living everywhere, Parvati. I mean, wherever you can put a building, there seems to be a building put there. An empty general store. Nicely done. Damn right. Somebody just left the, like, about a hundred bits sitting there. I'll take some purple berry punch. Why not? It's tasty stuff.
Ooh. Mandibular Rearranger. This weapon was created by an unknown and probably quite deranged scientist. Exactly how it works and why is a mystery, and it has never been duplicated. That's interesting. Maybe they'll have some information on their, their data, their, their uh, terminal here. Preliminary survey results. Uh, we've completed our initial, sur initial survey, and I have to admit that your hunch was right. I owe you lunch next time you're on Terra 1. We barely started our survey before we uncovered a mineral vein of with high density with high densities of yttrium and scandium. There's a limit to how much my team can extract in these pressure suits. Get us a terraformer and we and some prospecting mechanicals, and this little venture of ours might make us all rich. Hope the weather on Terra One isn't getting you down. I heard your I heard our permanent facility on Hephaestus is almost ready for habitation. Thanks for the rush on the replacement parts, Lydia. My team got the former repair former repaired and it's busy turning out the O2 again. Did you have to send us one loaded with seed stock? Damn grasses are triggered but triggering my allergies. Survey efforts continue. That initial vein ran dry quicker than we hoped, but we're getting promising results from other locations. Density of scandium lower than the first site, but yttrium still a, at respectable levels. We had a board team out here last week scanning for signals from the hope. We could all guess the results from how unhappy they looked. But it's it's been three years since the board classified the ship as missing. You'd think we'd been we'd be over it by now. Congratulations on your promotion, youngest full VP of the co in company history. Just promise me you won't promote that drill bit Needham to replace you. Bad news, Len. All the sites on the former within the former's dome have run dry. The mechanicals are bringing back good samples from beyond the retention field. I'll be sending you a requisition for a hauler to relocate the terraformer closer to the new site. My team heard you arrange for some circus time traveling show to stop by at our base. It has been a big boost to morale. We can't wait for some entertainment out here. Thackeray, your request for site relocation on that useless rock is denied. You've had over a year to generate a profit. If you haven't done it by now, it's not going to happen. And Evers is too busy to hide your incompetence. I don't want to hear any of your absurd excuses either. The terraformer failure ha was bad enough, but this drivel about primals running loose and damaging your, equip your equipment is the limit. The utter limit. Do you hear? Operations of your site are terminated. Evacuate immediately. I've got a new site in mind for you, one that, one of the rocks orbiting Hephaestus. Temps are a cool 170 degrees Celsius. You'll love it. Need him. Uh, let's see. Happy birthday. A visiting board team reminded me of the date. We should celebrate your 42nd birthday today. I'll try to get, I'll try and get you drunk with the latest Rizzo's concoction. You turn up your nose and say it was nowhere near as good as earth wine, as an earth wine. I didn't I don't know where you are, big sis. It's been 13 years since you entered hibernation, since the hope started its journey. I don't know what happened, why you never got here. If the architect is kind, you didn't suffer. I think about you all the time. Every time one of the big interstellar con conveyors blazes past, I look up and hope. Hope. Whoever named that damn ship should take a walk in the ether. 
I'm so sorry I sh never should have convinced you to sign that the indentured contract and join me on Halcyon. I'll never stop thinking about you, Jules. Please forgive me. Let's see here. Festus Geological Survey Site Supervisor's Terminal. Uh, ask, Li ask Lydia for info on the Sublight Company. That freighter captain claimed to work for them. Very strange ship. No corporate branding or colors. The captain didn't wear an approved uniform. Dealing with him left me feeling out of sorts. Had some interesting items for sale, though. Can't shake the feeling that they fell off the back of a conveyor. The captain sold Harris something called the Rearranger, then left before we discovered the damn thing doesn't work. It, the only thing it rearranges is the number of bits on Harris's cart. Looks like some strange tech. Maybe a scientist can make something of it. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, it's pretty low damage, especially for what we are able to do right now. But all right, let's go to the Hermit's Lodge and get our uh, get our vicar all sorted out. Oh, shit, sorry. Uh, let me put my gun away. Better? Yeah. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. We're here to get this book translated. Max? We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. We've come a long way to help Max get some peace. Is there anything you can do to help? There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. Well, Max just said he was prepared, didn't he? And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. Uh, I don't know, Captain. Is this safe? I don't think this is safe. Look, you can go back to the ship if you're uncomfortable. I understand. Well, I don't want to leave you all on your lonesome. I'll just... Oh, fine, I'll do it. All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. Okay, we are saved. <laughs> Good. Uh, all right, which one's the meditation? Um, oh, this is your bathroom. All right, come on in. Come, 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 come in, come in. Uh, is there anything that we can look at in here? No, okay. Well. with your face. Y'all see these stars I'm seeing? Gosh, they're pretty. Like 
shimmers in the sea. Your mother's right, Max. You should listen to her. Don't tell me these drugs have warped your sense of truth, along with your face. Is it just me, or is everything a little wavy in here? Never mind. This is all lies. I'm sure of it. We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated... Uh, perpetrated? I mean... We're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Action now. Always ready to give up, to lash out. Always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place. Never looking inside himself. I hope you'll pardon my interruption, but I think it's because he's unhappy with his I think you're right, Parvati. Uh, look, we came all this way. We want it. We ought to at least hear her out. Thank you. It relieves me to see there's at least one positive influence in my son's life after all these years. Has he told you how he thoughtlessly abandoned us? Thoughtlessly? How could you say that? I only wanted you and father to be proud of me. I was going to be the perfect vessel. I was going to be a better, more full of the plan. This year, it, it's all coming out wrong. The plan, it filled you with a joy I could never feel. I wanted it. And being a laborer made me miserable. I was better than that. You certainly convinced yourself you were. But don't feel bad. We continually lie to ourselves, weaving stories in a vain attempt to convince us that we are in control of anything. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. Stories are real. If they mean something, if they inspire you to kindness or or action, but maybe Max's story about himself is all wrong, and that's why he's so unhappy. You know, I kind of got to agree with your mom here, Max. Your story blinded you to the truth and landed you in prison. What the fuck are you talking about? Look where we are, Max. Trusting an unbalanced hermit with your sanity seem rational to go. Oh, hmm. <laughs> That might be a little counter and counterproductive. Didn't your story push you to study banned works and unlock the secrets of the plan? No, I just wanted to prove to my parents that I... That... I, damn it. You're right. Of course I'm right. Max, you need to lay the past to rest. What happened with your father and I, it's long dead. To obtain your goals, you must live the chaos. Be fine with the chaos. Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants. More assuredly than even the fictional architect's plan you slave away to prove. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's... It's... It's just a farce, right? Just... Just... My own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined, controlled. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. 
yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? If he, ooh. Now here's the, here's, here's the dilemma. Here is the dilemma. Do we say, hey, you know, do we try and reason with, say, look, he's a better man than he gives himself credit for? Or do we say, per, or do we use our perception? And Max, I figured it out. You need to kill this guy now. I mean, anytime you can use perception, use one of your skills, it's usually a good thing. Fuck it, we'll try. What are you talking about? He's your self. You need to get rid of him. Get it? It's almost like a bad I joke. Can do we can handle this. I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. What happened? I woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting. I'm experiencing. Everything is perfect. I'm glad you found the answers you were looking for, Max. In a way. Perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality. Clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. There may be something to that. You seem happy, or at least not angry. I am content. I finally found what I was looking for, even though I was looking for the wrong thing. So yeah, it looks like that was like cut to the chase. Fuck you. You what you 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 are trying to you are trying to make him somebody he isn't. So uh yeah. So have you found your answers? Not so much found as finally listened. Yes. It is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. Existence is simpler with your eyes closed. It takes courage to open them. It looks like you learned something in there as well. Nah, I already knew that. I was just enjoying myself. Of course you were. We should go. <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm totally going to be like, no. I already understood that. Like, yeah, most of the people in the Halcyon, in the Halcyon colonies, walk around with their eyes closed. They do. They they go through the motions. They don't really do anything. And yeah, it's it's just kind of like one of those things where it's like, yeah, you're you're. They walk around with their eyes closed. They don't really do much of anything. They don't. You know, they don't really look at things as they are. They just kind of like, oh, yeah, nope, everything is fine. Everything's wonderful. The The board is wonderful. The board will take care of us. And it's like, no, the board will fucking, the board will slaughter you in an instant if it's like the least, if they think that they can eat a, a few extra bits out of you dying. This is wow. This this place is is really kind of just grim and horrible. I'm trying to look for somebody that I could use this uh, whatever it is on and see if it see 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 what it does. What did what does it do? Be 
very, very quiet. We're hunting primals. So we found the terraformer. Hit him in the ass with it! Oh, Jesus! Yeah? Fuck you! Everyone all right? So it like freezes somebody up in the air? That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're fine. Are you kidding me? Like like some fucking primals on some backwater dirt rock is gonna fucking is get it's gonna fucking take us down. That explains how we ain't dead. And without the pylons, all the O2, this thing's cracking from the ice would just. Drift off. And we gotta hide. We, we, we gotta hide. I don't know what the hide does. I don't know what the hide is good for, but I'm sure somebody somewhere will want it. So yeah, there is a definite barrier. So yeah, there's, there's... There's a definite bear that they're like, hey, yo, uh, do not go past this. Or, yeah, you will die within a few steps. Good to know. Fuck you. I do not want a weakness. Yes, I know that I could, you know, boost other... Ooh. I know I could boost, you know, I, I could get another perk point. What was that? We got trouble. Hello. That's the last of them. Some of these folks are sublight. Or the other ones. Outlaws. They are outlaws. More to the point, they tried to shoot us. They they shot at us. That should answer more than more that should answer all of your questions. They shot at us. See, those guys didn't... I don't think those guys were the ones that shot at us. I think those were the guys that were like... They were dead before we hit... So, ammo and wine. This... This is my kind of sniper right here. This is absolutely my kind of sniper. Grab your sniper rifle, have plenty of ammo, and a bottle of wine right at hand. Just be like, yo, we, uh... Yep, don't matter what the fuck you do, we's... I am set. You can do what you like. I am set. The corner of the faded broadsheet is reserved for Circus Time sponsors. Circus Time announces Primal Performance Tour. Come one, come all. Circus Time is about to turn your community into a circus town. Our patented Primal performers can dance, sing, eat, and dance. Want to feed the primals? Two bits for a bag of sprat tails. Want to take one home? Ask our lawyers. Under no circumstance should primals leave their enclosure. Primals will consume human flesh. Unattended primals should be reported to the nearest circus time authority. Do not expose primals to gunfire, loud noises, or harsh language of any kind. Primal musk is toxic and mildly corrosive. Do not submerge body parts in primal musk. Circus time employees will never instruct guests to interact with primal musk, ever. Want to be part of the mate and greet retreat? 
Look to or look into pricing for our premium Primal Pack. Keep your eyes to the skies. Primals are coming. I love the like, you know, the like, oh, hey, you know, ask us about this. It's like, never ask about this. This is a horrible idea. Nobody should ever fucking do this. If you want to do this, you are a Outlaw. fucking moron. Dead ahead. Why is it we find fights every place we go? What? Where? I guess there are a couple people. Like. Okay, so. Oh. So this is the circus time. Oh yeah. Here we go. Dude, I just shot your Make eyeball team, my out. Friend. Well done, Captain. You have really changed. Like you really have changed, sir. So I'm guessing this is like what became what was the the circus time the circus time ship and then they just kind of like yeah they 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 crashed or were otherwise otherwise got wrecked the fuck up and it turns out that yeah, they, you know, the, the, the primals here are not native. They were probably brought in by the circus. And once the circus, you know, once the circus, uh, when, when the circus... the circus's ship got destroyed or dismantled or shot right the fuck down the primals got loose and that's why you know that's that's just that's why there's primals here seriously you are really complimentary these days i'm not sure i like the new max investigate all you want bitch oh good a fight <laughs> We're pretty good at this. I mean, at least Max is like, oh no, you know, he's like, he's he's still he is still a fan of fights. He's still like, you know, he's not like a cowardly little bitch that's like, oh shit, oh here we go again. Can't we all just get along, peace and love and harmony and all that bullshit? No, he's like, oh good, another fight. He is just like, he is he is just thoroughly enjoying everything about his reality now. He really is. He's just like, yes. Oh, we're gonna. Oh boy, we get another fight. Great. <laughs> Which is a, uh, it's a little fucked up. It's a little messed up. But I mean, honestly, it's 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 kind of fun. Anyway, uh, I think we are going to save in a new save slot because that is where we are going to end for today. I just realized my chair has sunk. And I actually, because of my, because my phone told me this, I know that I've had this chair for three years. Because I took a picture of it when I've just, when I first assembled it, and my phone came up with that picture as a reminder of three years ago today. So yeah. Anyway, that's where we're going to end for tonight. Um... We have completed Max's side, Max's thing, Max's quests and stuff. So, you know, we've completed Parvati's. We've completed Max's. Um, I don't know if anybody else has any. I don't know if, like, Nico or 
Dr. Ellis or or uh, the toss ball toss ball fan. I, I can't remember his name. Tommy. He looks like a Tommy. He feels like a Tommy. He feels like a he feels like a Tommy. He he feels like a useless piece of shit named Tommy. But yeah, um, we, I don't know if they have any any like personalized side quests or anything. They might. I might have to take them out into the field and be like, "Yo, fucking talk to me, guys. Come on." I've helped the vicar find peace. Imagine that. You have helped a vicar find peace. That's a little odd. Anyway, yeah, that's where we're going to end for tonight. Um, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to be to 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 be up with uh, some some blender uh, a blender build a new blender build starting tomorrow. Um, the building is a great idea, but my god, that like I fucked around with that for a few days for for a couple days, and that is that is that is a monstrosity. That there's a reason why people like are like, hey, just buy my pack. It takes a lot of shit. Anyway, as always, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to the like button. If you're new here, don't forget to consider prodding that subscribe button. If you want to be kept up to date of when we go live and stuff like that, make sure to ring the bell. But also, check out the social media links down below, the Facebook page, the Twitter account, the Tumblr account, and the permanent invite for the Discord server, where I always make sure to notify you of when we go live and stuff like that. All that so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. Cheerio!